Welcome back everybody and well of course welcome back today's video will be a Transformers one this time with the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class Grimlock now uh oh and uh Wheelie too forgot about him <laughs> so Grimlock here is part of the Studio Series lineup along with several others movie Transformers this one is like from the from the first Transformers movie, Transformers the movie. I I never saw the movie, but I heard it was pretty good. I don't know. I I don't know. Can't tell. Never saw it. Don't know. But anyways, let's take a look at the figure. So this is. Comparing this one to like the Beast Wars Megatron that I reviewed, go check that out. This one looks really good. I I was thinking of doing like another Grimlock, like from like from the Cyber First line or Kingdom. Oh uh, wait, Kingdom. Uh, we don't talk about that because that one is um, the Kingdom Grimlock. Is a, it's not Grimlock. That was a imposter. Anyways. I like the design of this, it's very uh, G1, and I really like the designs of this. If this was Kingdom, this would have been better, but this would be cool. But still, I like the details. Very, he's a very chunky boy, and plus, he's Godzilla. Here you this, this, it's Godzilla. <laughs> I had to pull that out, okay. <laughs> but anyways. The details on the, on, like the, like the gold, the, the red, the green, and blue, all look incredible. And plus, you get two different, uh, uh, all about logos. One on his crotch, and one on his chest. Got away having two all about symbols. <laughs> and also, he's a pretty hefty boy, too. But... Before we talk about the articulation and accessories, let's talk about his little companion, Wheelie. I do this. So Wheelie here um, is just Wheelie. Unfortunately, this Wheelie is also from the from the Transformers the movie. Don't know. I I guess I don't know what he is. He doesn't transform. He doesn't know anything. So I can just do this, yeet, but I don't want to because I have to do the review of it. But I like the little details of, of this guy, plus for this size, plus for this guy's size, he's even smaller than Grimlock's cannons, but anyways, he's very small, like if I, uh, yeah. it's hard to stand out because his legs are like like he's sitting. I, I don't know how to get the uh, side comparisons. But let us do the articulation for this guy. You have a ball joint at the head, and of course, every ball joint can be one of these. Rotation at the arm, on both sides. Arm moves out. Strangely enough, this one has a rotation at this arm. And it looks like he's dabbing. Uh, <laughs> uh, surprisingly, a ball joint at the waist, sort of. If you do it. Well, he does have does have an up and he has a arcing back and a crunch. But surprisingly, he has a swivel. A swivel at the waist. But they do far go. Um. Ah. <laughs> um, yeah, for this guy's size, you have to be careful of the joints, because they will just, because they will pop out easy. Mostly this one, because of how exposed this one is. So I'd rather just don't do it. Uh, he has a, his leg can go, not, oh, need to go, right. There we go. He, his leg can go not that high and goes 
all the way up. And also, you. Oh. One. Well, Be a little spread. And the yeah, XE. Yeah. Articulation for Grimlock is better. Whip on the head. Uh, hinge joint at the head. Which, that's the only articulation you have on the head. Mouth can open very wide. Ball joint at the arm. Bent. And yeah, it's like a go, go full 360. Okay, sorry, the robot mode's arms. And so that means you could get a beautiful spread. And that's it. You get a glorified big brick with this guy. With Grimlock. And really, we're just gonna ignore him. <laughs> but, but before we just ignore uh, Wheelie. He also has some cool uh, gimmicks. With the accessories for Wheelie, you get this little slingshot that slides into his hand. Don't know how he uses a slingshot. He's a robot. But he also has these little holes, and Grimlock has these pegs on his neck. So that means you could. So that means you could actually maneuver Wheelie, Wheelie to to have a slingshot. Mm -hmm. Like he's shooting his sling, slingshot, like so, like so, like that. Yeah, that just looks weird. <laughs> you could do it like that. That's a little bit better, but it's very loose, loose when it's in Dino mode, when Grandma's in Dino mode. But he also has his cannon, which also. With has these two pegs that taps onto his back. Like. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> like so. There we go. But now, time for the size comparisons. We're gonna start with Wheelie. Uh, let me just get these two next to each other. First off, we have, of course, of course, we have Armor Height. That one's falling, really. Key all of it. Astro Train? Wow, oh, that one's actually taller than Astro Train. Uh, Optimus Prime. A previous Transformers review, the uh, Transformers Kingdom uh, Astro. Uh, uh, the Transformers Kingdom uh, Cyclonus. And finally, the previous King. And previously, our dinosaur Megatron, Beast Wars Megatron, to be exact, to be uh, to be sure. But comparing Grimlock to Beast Wars Megatron, this actually looks pretty cool. Having like two different dinosaurs next to each other, being the original to the copycat, it looks good. But now, but now it's time for transforming. Trans, uh, transforming this guy into robot mode. Start off, you have to put this head up, like so. Open the mouth, just saying. Pull this head back, but not yet. You have to untake the legs, like so. Fold uh, out the tail, like so. Bend the leg. Oh wait, but first before you do that, Hold in the tail on both sides, like so. Now you could just kindly just uh, fold in the legs, like so. Tap the back of the tail onto the back of the legs, pull out the heels, and now you're almost dead. That's me. We have the Robo Dino. <laughs> This looks cursed. <laughs> and now what you do, uh, you, uh, you just fold the head back, tab it in, fold the, arm, uh, the dino arms in, unpeg the chest like so, fold it out, lift the head up, fold in the chest, and now, for the arms. Fold out the hands, 
And if you want to, you could leave it like this, or you could do it like this. Put in the closet. Let's do the same thing on the other side, but I'm gonna leave this one open. And for wheelie, that's it. Oh, that's the, here's one transformation. Oh, one more bit. Uh, there we go. Now we have the robot mode. Oh, right, you just go with it. Now this looks really good. Now, having like a compact dinosaur transforms into a giant robot. It's really good. I like how how big this thing is. Like comparing it to Wheelie, this thing is this thing is big. And also, also I love the details on this one. And also, one more thing, the back. This I'm not I'm not actually ignored about. I'm not actually uh, annoyed about this because this is this is actually so accurate. Better than some Astro Train. <laughs> I mean, compare the back differences. I know this is just a huge chunk, while this one is just very uh, compact and basically very clean. And, but yeah, I love the details, details even in the robot. This looks good. And plus, it doesn't have eyes, but. His visor has this nice blue coloring on it. It looks good. Unfortunately, there's no light piping, so I will show you. Unfortunately, but it does have some good articulation. Swip it the head. Has a nice ball joint at the head. Look up and down. Real. Oh, I did talk about this in the robot mode. In the dino mode. Rotation of the arm. Arm moves out. Right, that's what we'll Bend. Spin at the elbow, or swivel. No uh, arcing back for a crunch. How did this guy got it? But it does have a swivel. Swivel. The flaps are on a hinge joint. It's like to move up this far, and moves back this far up. And also, beautiful spread. Back swivel. A bend, at, a very good bend at the knee. No up and down at the toe. Uh, the heel can do a, uh, has a hinge joint and a big pivot. Posability. This is way better than what Wheelie had. Well, to be fair, this thing is like the size as as Grandma's head. And also, I tried it, although previously when I was doing the transformation, Wheelie also has a peg underneath his leg. So you could actually peg him in onto Grimlock's uh, shoulder. Like, like so. Ta -da! Now that one, so he won't be coming out when I shake him off. But also, but also, why is his legs, his legs are wobbly. Very wobbly for a giant leader, uh, leader class. But he is still pretty solid because of his big chunks, uh, big chunking feet. But he also, he also, he could tie his can onto his can, as I'll keep saying. And plus, I like it. Very huge, very hefty, very wobbly, but I'm I'm okay with that. But while we talk about accessories, let's talk about the size that it is. Astro train, Astro, ah, I am falling. Astro train, puny. The previously that I mentioned, Megatron. I'm not trying to find this one on camera. We have. Optimus Prime. We have the previously uh, uh, Cyclonus. And finally, uh, Farmer Height. Oh. Okay, fine. Yay! And now, 
But no. Oh, and also, Simba. <laughs> but yeah, I like, I love this guy. Very hefty. I, some parts are very loose, like the flap on, like, like one his flaps on the back and his feet. But I mean, that, it's a solid figure, but I think it would look uh, better if Wheelie wasn't hard. Oh, sorry. No, we did get him out of the way. But yeah. But yeah. I like, I like this guy. Huge. Um, really good. Very big. And also, I did. This one's a 3.5 out of 10 because of how, how great this thing is. It's not amazing. It's just great. And also, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Of course, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell, and also uh, share this video with a, with one of your friends, family, whatever. And also, and also put a comment down saying saying how much you like this figure. And I hope you all did enjoy this video. See ya.